welcome back everyone let's deploy modern stack project for free okay so we completed we started a series of employee management system and we completed this uh, uh, employee management system series so now let's deploy it okay let's uh, we would like to just uh, deploy this employee management system for free so to deploy this project for that i will use Wurzel to deploy this node and react modern project to the Wurzel. okay so let's first of all open Wurzel. So in Versal we can just deploy our project, React and Node projects for free. And what else we need? We need for the database. Okay, for the database we will use MongoDB Atlas which provide us a free um, connection. We can create a database there for free. Let's open MongoDB Atlas. so what else we need github okay to the github we will upload we will uh, upload our projects okay front end and server side projects so let's sign in yeah so it will just redirect me to the database and also create your account in Versal after creating your account and also the github so after um, that first of all let's create connection with this uh, mongodb atlas so to create connection with this let's first of all create a project okay come here to the projects i would like to create a new project and the project name is this is employee project employee ms i will name it employee ms so after assigning a name so let's press next so let's create a pro create project okay press this to create project wait for it yeah so after creating a project let's create a cluster now so press create button to create a cluster yeah the name of cluster so let's we would like to select this free one okay the free storage 512 mb and let's assign a um, cluster name employee cluster for example employee cluster and we would like to automate security and uh, just select one of them provider AWS and here we will select like we have Singapore yes let's select Singapore and uh, create a deployment okay so just press that button so it will create let's select crosswalk security purpose let's verify it so connect to employee cluster how you would like to create connection with this okay so let's first of all create a user for example the uh, username is employee and the password is employee one two three okay so just this is just for the testing purpose and now let's create this user so after creating that now let's create connection with this so i would like to use driver okay would like to connect with it with uh, mongodb so it is just running in the ba uh, backend okay so let's close it later we will come here to the connection to copy the connection string from this area so because it is loading the cluster is created it is in loading section so later we will come and copy the connection string from this cluster so the cluster has been created so after that press this connect button to copy the connection string press here a driver after that we would like to use node.js driver and come here to this this is the connection string copy this connection string so after copying this now let's press done and come here to your code so after moving to your code so we will paste uh, we have created our project already so now let's just come here to the db uh, to the dot env file okay in the dot env file here we will paste that connection string so let's paste that control v to paste that so after pasting that this is the connection string but we're uh, here we will add our uh, password here instead of this db password let's write employee one two three this was our password and the employee was user come here down and down where you would like to insert your database name okay so we would like to insert the database name here after mongodb.net slash between slash and question mark so here i will insert employee db okay this is the database name our database name save it and close it so after creating creating this it means that we created our connection with the uh, uh, mongodb atlas successfully but one thing else that you should do come here to the network axis and here add 
let's delete this IP address add in IP address and here add 0, 0.0.0.0 slash 0 so it means all IP addresses can access this uh, uh, database okay this we can access our database through all IP addresses so it means whenever we launch our uh, uh, app our application and Warsaw so we can access from that server so let's it is impending so it should yeah that is active so now we can access it from everywhere from all ip addresses so this was the mongodb atlas that we configured now let's move to our code what we need to do in with our code okay we have two projects front end and uh server project okay let's close this we have react and node project let's close all these files so we have these two projects okay one is our server node project the second one our front end react project what else what we need in this project come here to the front end and here we will add a warsel.json file in this warsel.json file we will write this code look at the code okay so this is the code that we should write inside the, the warsel.json in our react file if you don't write this then the you will face with the routing error okay there in the routing the project will work but in routing whenever you directly would like to access a page so you cannot access that let's close this now let's move to server side in server side what let's add here a warsel.json file also so add warsel json file should look like this in server side okay src index touch s is our starting point warsel node src all files uh, okay destination slash it means the same uh, directory so this is the virtual digestion file that we will create inside the server side app and insert this code close this and add that git ignore in both your uh, front end and server side project in that git ignore i just uh, defined node modules it means that ignore these files while you are uploading this project to github okay just ignore all these files like no, node modules we don't want to upload upload node modules because it will take too much time there are a lot of files and this dot env slash uh, and log dot log files and also create that ignore file in uh, front end here also we want to ignore these things so after creating this now uh, you should upload your uh, project these projects front end and server to the uh, uh, github okay so upload this to the github come here to the github in github create a new project so it will provide you the all the um, commands that you can upload from your uh, vs code okay you should uh, if you don't know how to upload from vs code your project to github so you can watch videos on my channel so after uploading your project to github so it will looks like this okay i have uh, just come here i will show to you repositories And I have uploaded it right now, okay? Uh, updated to two minutes ago, one hour ago. This is employee front end code and this is employee API code, okay? So let's check the front end. This is the front end, look at. Versal.json file. And also let's go back to employee API. This is the server project, okay? Our server side project. So after um, uploading this, now what we need to do, let's move now to the Warsaw, okay, to deploy it. Come here to the Warsaw and Warsaw create your account after creating your account. So let's add a new project, project. And here we will, I would like to first of all, um, just uh, deploy the front end, employee front end, import this one. So after importing this, let's name it like employee front end. That is okay. Okay, employee front end and the framework preset. We have uh, created our React project using WitJS. If you created that using, uh, if that is the next project, select that Angular or you created used create React app. So you can select that. But I have created my project using uh, the Wit, so I selected Wit. This is the root directory. We don't need to the build commands by default. That is okay, and we don't have any environment variable in our front end project. So let's press deploy to deploy our project. Let's for wait. It is deploying. Mm -hmm. 
So look at the deployment has completed. Congratulations, and this is the login page default page which displayed to us. So let's move now, continue to dashboard. And this is the URL. Okay, look at employee front end 3.versal.app. So let's click this so it will open login page default for us. So this is our front end app that we deployed. Now let's move to our uh, uh, add new. Okay, we will add a new project. So let's add a new project. We would like to deploy our uh, server side app also. So the server side that was employee API, let's import it. So after importing it, let's name it employee API. That is okay. And here now per node uh, express app, you will select here other. Okay. Instead of all these things, you should select other. After selecting at the root directory is okay. Let's come here to the built in output command. Those are also okay. Come here to the environment variables. So we have env environment variable in our server side app. Let's copy those environment variables. Come here to that env. First of all, port. Let's insert port. Add that so after adding these three environment variables press deploy to deploy our node express app also okay watch video until the end there are steps one or two steps are remained I will show you that if you don't look to that you will face problems Look at congratulations. We have created our, we have deployed our, look at it means there is no error. Okay. Connect, um, get, okay. There is no default route, but there is no error. If there is any error, so it will display you the error here. Let's continue to dashboard. This is the URL. Okay. That we can access our server side app. Let's click this. So this is our server side app now what else we need to do that is that we should update the urls okay our front-end url is this right now so let's copy our front-end url so after copying front-end url come here to your code come here to the front-end uh, to the server side okay and come here to the uh, index.js file and after coming here just update this uh, in course app that use cards origin the origin update this origin okay we will just assign our new front end up route this is employee front end 3 dot versal dot up that's it just update this save it and now let's update this uh, server side url also come here to the server side copy this url after copying this url let's go and we will update all the urls in our front end okay in our front end we have used Come here to the SRC. Uh, we, we didn't use that in app.js. Come here to the utils department helper. So here we have a connection with server. So let's update that to our new URL. Let's update this. Paste our new URL. Okay. So after pasting that, let's save that. Okay. All URLs, wherever you created connection with the server side app. So update those URLs. Come here to the employee helper. So here we have let's update this also save that here also so just update all the urls so after adding all those things now let's update our repositories okay so i will use git commands to update the repository git add dot add all and git commit message url changed git push so now let's move to the server side and there i will just update that also That is git so that's it okay so after updating that so um 
Wordcell will update your repository by default. Okay, update your this. Okay, just let's go. So it will update that. So after updating, updating that, let's refresh it also and also refresh this. So now let's create okay let's create a um, user so let's check first of all we have users or not by default we use the seed file to create the default admin user in our uh, database okay so let's replish it let's move here to the Let's check the database. Yeah, browse collection. Yeah, look at we have created this uh, successfully. So after refreshing that, so we have employee DB database and we have departments collection employees leaves salaries and users so let's check the users we will have the admin account the default admin accounting correctly yeah the account has been created now let's log into the system admin at gmail.com let's insert a wrong password first of all press login so it will display as wrong password look at but let's correctly password the uh, password so that is okay we logged into the system so this is our dashboard okay look at so let's check the employees i think yeah we don't have any employee and any department so let's insert a department for example i want to insert a department meal department and this is meal dip department and add department so now we will see the department look at we have inserted this department let's now come here to the departments yeah the internet is very slow yeah we have the mail department and we inserted that successfully so that's how we can deploy our a modern stack up for free using Wurzel and MongoDB Atlas. So if you like this video and this series, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.